Now at three, a woman is found dead inside a boarding home. Thanks for choosing 19 News at three. I'm Brian Duffy in for Nicole Versansky. According to her family, people who live in the home are not coming forward about what exactly happened. In a story you'll see on Just One Station, our Winnie Dorch spoke to the family who are fighting for answers. She was face down. One hand was in the fist and one hand was like this. While she was face down, her face was smashed in. But nobody has answers. What happened to Shaniqua Nickerson? That's the question the 31-year-old's family desperately wants to find the answer to. She was working, uh, focusing on, you know, her children, paying her rent, you know, being kind to others. The mother of three was found dead inside her bedroom on August 31st. To me, it looked like she was fighting for her life. For the last year, Nickerson was living at this boarding home on Algonac Road in the city's Euclid Green neighborhood. Her mother, Nakia, says she called the maintenance man after not hearing from Shaniqua for a few days. Yeah, I hear her phone, but I haven't seen her. So on the 31st, August 31st, I said, uh, you're going to have to get in there so I can see if my daughter's in there. You heard her phone, but you never checked on her. While Nakia was on her way to the home, she got a call she hoped she would never get. The maintenance man made a gruesome discovery. I can't point the finger at no one, but everyone that lives in this home, like eight or nine guys and one female, nobody knows nothing, nobody heard anything. And it's a ca camera directly on the room that she was renting. But the landlord saying this hours of footage, she can't seem to find anybody, anything. You would say this is quite a suspicious death? Very suspicious, beyond suspicious. Uh, all of the red flags are up on this case. Antoine Tolbert is a member of New Era Cleveland, a community organization fighting for justice for victims and their families. He says some things aren't adding up. Her unit, there is no way, there is no way that you can get in or out this house from her entrance without being seen on camera. So that means that someone had to take a separate entrance. Someone that knows the layout of the house has to take a separate entrance to stay off camera, as well as uh, allegedly there's a piece of uh, drywall that can be moved to get access to her room. Nickerson has already been laid to rest, but her mom won't rest until she knows exactly what went down in her daughter's bedroom. I don't know what's going on, but I need to find out. In Cleveland's Euclid Green neighborhood, I'm Winnie Dorch, 19 News. And Winnie reached out to police for more information on this case. At this hour, we are still waiting to hear back.